This Mai Nami, Hong Kong horror movie, is set in one of the three most haunted houses in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the abandoned mansion. While Alan is happily taking a bath, he realizes that there are many bugs in the water. He went to the rooftop to see if there were bugs in the water tower as well. He lifts the lid but finds Soon, the police arrive at the scene. The red doll on the window sill makes Susan realize what is happening. On the other hand, Judy, who likes to bully Susan, and her co-worker had just separated after a late night snack. When she was walking alone in the alley, she heard a weird voice behind her. Judy was so scared that she fled in a panic. But when she woke up, she realized that her hands and mouth were connected. The scene is seen by Susan's mother, Iris, who is passing by. But strangely enough, Iris doesn't call the police. The next day, while organizing her husband's belongings, she stumbles upon Susan's rag doll. She picks up the rag doll, only to hear a recording of Susan being assaulted by a supervisor at the factory. That night, she goes to the factory and finds Susan and tells her she will protect her. She then locks Susan in the utility room. Seeing the worst, Susan rushed to text Alan. While Iris slammed the roll-up door shut, grabbed an axe, found the supervisor, and swung at him without hesitation. Despite wielding a sharp weapon, Iris is eventually knocked to the ground by the young supervisor. The supervisor takes the opportunity to flee the office, but doesn't make it more than a few steps before he is knocked unconscious himself. When he wakes up, he realizes that he is tied to a sewing machine by none other than Susan, who at the moment seems to have lost her mind and steps on the sewing machine to keep torturing the supervisor. When Alan arrives, he finds the supervisor long dead but notices a flash of light and follows it. Finding Iris in the pool, he is also pushed into the pool by Susan, and the two of them struggle in the water. While Iris takes advantage of the situation to escape, shortly after, she arrives with the police, but Alan has disappeared. The police take control of Susan but put her in the men's prison. Just as Susan is confused, the police show her the surveillance from that night, which shows that the murder of the supervisor was not Susan, but the real Susan. It turns out that Susan has suffered from a severe split personality disorder since it was a child, and that his main personality has always been the female Susan, while the ragdoll that helped him to kill is another personality. And Alan, whom he fantasizes about helping him not be bullied, only exists in his imagination. After realizing everything, Susan can't accept this fact, and chooses to slit his wrist and kill himself. In the last moments of his life, his his other personalities appeared, saying goodbye to him like longtime friends and taking him to another, better place. 